morning. Bit of blue sky, we've got a bit of cloud. Who knows what's going to happen with this weather today. Um, we are going to be doing a bit of muck spreading, I think. Um, I always say we're going to be doing it morning and then it turns out we do nothing of that in the video. So, um, yeah, I think the one thing that I can say we're definitely going to do is some muck spreading. Hopefully. Um, so mucking out, feeding cows, you know the business. Whatever happens on the farm, whatever breaks down, it'll be included in this video. So if you like this farming stuff, remember to press that like button now and uh, subscribe if you've not already. See you in a bit. And is here, just backing up onto the bales. My dad in the background there on the TM. Let's get some cows strawed up. There we go. So we'll cut the bands on this now. Pull it in. Good morning, pretty. Hey, are you lovely? You are nice, aren't you? With your little white spot on your head. Hey. Can I eat my hand? You little rascal. Right, Andy's just pulling out of here. Nice to straw these up. Squishy is looking for mice. There's not gonna be mice under them bales, Squish. We only put them there yesterday. In there is what they do the business of chopping it up. So them two beaters there rip the straw off and the fan at the back blows it out. See the beaters and the fan working there. The fan spins a lot faster than the beaters to blow the straw out. Quite a nice cycle going on today. So we're blowing the straw in, putting the bedding in for the cattle, and then the cattle are doing their business on there. Um, it's rotting down, it's building up, and then we're gonna come in, muck it out, get it into the spreaders, spread it onto the field. So we've got a fertilizer going on to the next crop and then when the next crop comes we grow the straw we bale it we put it through the straw blower and it's going back round and round so that's the great thing about farming i like my cycles people watched yesterday's video we mucked this outside bit where they stand outside uh, we got an out and put it onto the field and now andy is bedding them up and he's also going to bed this outside area um, if they want to lay in that as well there he is, just bedding that outside bit up. We're all stacked up waiting to get into this pen now. Andy goes out, my dad goes in. Business. We also have this spreader bale to put straw out and we'd use the JCB on it. Two beaters on the front, which is similar to the muck spreader over there. And it flings straw out. To the front and to the sides. Like so. so another way we can bed the cattle down. And we use it in here because it's easier to get into the shed with the uh, JCB than it is the Teagle. It's just been coffee time, it's empty. But, Andy, great news, great news, I'm sure you'll be very excited. Mugs are back in stock. Wow, we, eh? If anybody wants a mug with my name on it, um, <laughs> then head over to joeseals.com because they are back in stock. Got them yesterday, got delivered, so um, we can get them out. Business. Andy's got the 130 on the muck spreader now. We're gonna go and muck some pens out and spread it straight on. The way to do it. I managed to get a bucket in. Andy's just getting it into position for me. I'll just try one under driving. Let's tip it in. There we go. I think we 
Mr. Cowgill's washed this, uh, spreader down for us, which is very nice of him. That's Andy off with the first load. So there is the TM320 beast that we're doing this mucking out with. I thought I'd just show you the layers of muck. So we've got a straw on the top there. Obviously Andy's not strawed this up today because we are mucking it out. And then as you go down the muck, it starts rotting towards the bottom and it gets dark and black. And um, yeah, this has got the nutrients in it. It's full of straw. As you can see, even in the bottom there, it's full of straw. Muck, the cow urine, it's all in there. Fantastic fertilizer for the food, um, for the food, for the fields that then produce the food. So, um, yeah, it's all a nice cycle. We get the straw, we make the muck, the arable farmer has the muck back, then we get the straw. Oh, it's just, oh, cycles are just brilliant, aren't they? And that'll just keep going and going and going because it's sustainable. It works. It's worked for hundreds and hundreds of years and it'll continue to work so yeah i think it's just brilliant anyway okay what's this looks like my dad must have left the uh floor run on the muck spreader i'm guessing like he did earlier um and he'll have done a shear bolt so we'll have that to fix and dash to go i've just got the shear bolt changed now so that all should work properly Ah, let's put it back together and away we go. So I'm off taking this load and a pip. Um, my dad's gonna fill and it with the TM. So we get a little bit of muck spreading done. We're getting further up the field anyway. I don't think we've quite we might have done half. Might have just got to half maybe. No, probably not. Right, let's get this going. I think we'll have a Joe's lesson on how to drive the muck spreader. Hopefully this goes well. The start of our run, we start just moving forward ever so slightly, engaging our PTO. Rev it up, then pull the spool valve, which turns the floor in the muck spreader. So it's pushing the muck to the back of the machine towards the beaters that are operated by the PTO shaft. that way you get the muck firing out do from there is we'll just keep driving in a nice straight line following the tram lines uh, or following the way that the tram lines are going for the minute i'm in the middle of the tram lines um until it runs out and then when it runs out i'll show you that what we'll have to do is knock the floor off before we turn the pto off if at any point we have the floor on and the beaters at the back not on, then they can get bunged up. So all the muck gets pushed into these uh, beaters and it just acts like a brake on them. So then when you try and turn them on, it's like trying to set your car off with a handbrake on. It's not going to work, is it? It's going to break something or um, you get a stall. And with this, what it does is it breaks the fuel bolt. So um, the shear bolts there is like a safety mechanism for if you, like, you get a massive stone in there or something, it breaks a little bolt instead of breaking like the gearbox on the um, on the spreader. And it works the same as if you bung it up, it breaks the shear bolt, so it doesn't break the gearbox. So that's what's happened earlier when my dad um, was having to dig out the back of the spreader and we had to change the shear bolt. I've run out now. I can't see anything coming out of the back apart from dips and drabs. So, knock that off, shut my revs down, knock my PTO off, just check that my beaters are still spinning. So they'll spin for a while afterwards just with the energy that's still in them, um, the momentum, and that's a good sign. It means that nothing's pushed up against them, and they'll just slow down to a stop eventually. I'm gonna throw out a regional farming word what do you call this in a second because um i've heard different youtubers calling it different things so um it'd be interesting to know what you guys call your key well that's what we call it a muck heap 
But I've heard some people call well, I've heard Tom Pemberton calling it a midden. Now that's not something we use around here. Muck heap or muck pile. I think that's pretty much what we call it. Um, but yeah, what do you guys call it? Let me know in comments. So heading back down the fields to get back to the muck heap. And it's just coming along spreading. And the 130 yard. So if it's a bit jumpy, I'm trying to keep moving. There he is, look. On a little beast. So the pile's slowly going down. We've got, well, we're getting towards the end of it actually. We've not got much more left to spread either. Which is good, the load's full, we're ready to go. Andy's just giving me a phone call. He's bunged it up. Um, so he's coming back to the spanners so that we can change the direction of the floor and that spread them because better we've had it so that it can't reverse because we're having problems with it throwing the chains off and people reversing it and um, yeah so he's left the floor in he's noticed that he's left the floor in and which is good it's because he's not done the shear bolt but he's got to come back now and get a spanner to reverse the pipes over so that he can sort of knock them out hopefully oh Andy eh is it him oh no no it's Andy <laughs> All we've got left now is the last couple of bucketfuls. Uh, I think it might have to go on Andy's actually, but um, then we're done. We'll just need a bit more muck from the yards, I think, just to finish the rest of the field off and jobs are good in. The great thing about muck spreading now is look at the damage we've done to that soil out there. We haven't. It's nice and dry. We can just pick it up, put it in the spreader. It gets to like winter and it gets wet. Um, or later on in the autumn, you can make a right mess. But no, just easy, steady away, got it done. Oh, it's windy now. Right, me and Andy are going to drop these muck spreaders off. We're pretty much, there's a bit left to do, isn't there, Andy? But we'll get that sorted later. Well, that's some dropped off, and now we're going to. Um, Get some cows fed, do mixers, put machines back on what well, they should be. Andy's putting that on the mixer, then he'll be coming back and putting the 130 on the straw blower. I'm gonna start feeding. It's Aldi pop time, I think. We're nearly going home, like, but I need a drink, so I'll fetch one out for Andy. I've just been, before we've had a drink, I just was doing a uh, mix. I did a live on YouTube um, while we were doing it. So, if you were subscribed and you'd rung the little bell, ding, 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 whatever that is, um, then you'd have got a notification to say that I'm live and then you can ask questions um, through it and I can just respond to them there and then. It's um, a lot easier sometimes than like trying to answer the questions in the comments so I can talk it through rather than um, trying to type it up. Because I am dyslexic, you know. I. Uh, I'm very good at spelling. I try my best. And I love spell check. Right, that just uh, really does uh, help the job on a lot. But sometimes you don't even know what I've wrote, so I have to use Google. Anyway, anyway, that's just the complications of being dyslexic. Um, right, me and Andy. But Andy's just filling the mixer back up again, so we've got a pre mix ready for in tomorrow not as busy a day and then um, get the rest of the pens fed and the job should be done here. Yeah, get all the new ones fed and that and what have you. Oh it's nice to be in the shade it's getting a bit warm you know. These guys out here really nicely bedded up still look as we're coming in for the evening feed. How are we all doing? We're getting everything parked up in the shed now. Andy's fetching the mixer down. We've not got much room now. We've got all this barley and wheat. I'll be happy when uh, the cows have ate their way through it a little bit more. There Andy goes. Ready for the morning. 
but this is about where we're going to leave it today guys um if you've liked today's video please remember to press that like button subscribe if you've not already hit the comments because andy loves reading the comments um especially about the I'll tell you what just a minute we'll wait for the door to come down oh andy stopped it now <laughs> it, just, it just sounds really bad on the video yeah. after. um i can't remember what we're saying now oh you're buzzing about go-karting still aren't yeah. you yeah, he's just really wanting to challenge people. Um, and if anybody wants any of the merchandise, these mugs are back in stock. I think I've already mentioned it, but loads of people have put back in stock requests. So I don't know how long they're going to be on there for. So just check it out. And um, me and Andy will see you in the morning. Andy's going to a car show tomorrow. Bakes Horsepower might be back in action. Will it? <laughs> um, thanks for joining anyway, guys. And we will catch you tomorrow. Seals bugs. Forgot. Andy's going to the cinema tonight. Date night. It's date night date for Andy. Night, yeah, yeah. No, he's not taking me. <laughs> um, no, he's going to watch. What are you going to watch? I'm going to support the Cornish tonight. Support the Cornish. Yeah. So have a guess have a then. Guess. What is it? Bit what? of a sing along. <laughs> are you going to be singing? Yeah. Are you really? Yeah. Do you think you will be? Yeah, right will you? Yeah. yeah. Will Karen like that? Will yeah, Karen be singing? It. She loves it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah let us know what you think andy's going to watch and we'll uh, we'll let you know in the morning and we'll let you full review from andy full five minute review <laughs> um, of, of the film try not to go to sleep then yeah yes yeah, so don't go to sleep right cheers guys thanks again bye 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 bye